early morning walk down by the Lano River, Lano, Texas. Mid 30s temperature, no wind, and we'll go see the geese. There's one goose out there. Isn't it beautiful? It's like a mirror, isn't it? Anyway, let's go see what we got here. They're filling their craws with rocks to help digest their food. And may, I'm not sure, but maybe there's something there they're eating. Might be some little bugs there. And these things will charge you. Okay, not often, but every now and then an old gander, he'll get enough of this crap. And can they pinch you with that beak? Yeah. They're <laughs> pretty though, aren't they? That's a seagull. If this doesn't lower your blood pressure, just go ahead and check out. These guys are in no hurry. They're certainly not scary to me. I mean, they're so clean, you know what I mean? Their feathers are so clean. So they preen themselves several hours a day, I think. But you know, a goose, you know, if you were starving, a goose would provide a, a pretty good meal. I don't know how much they weigh, probably. I don't know, six or eight pounds, you think? I don't know. But before we eat one, let's enjoy the view here on the Lano River near Lano, Texas. This is in the city park. Now those are geese, but up here we get into the ducks. And they stay separate. They don't, they don't hang together. The ducks do duck things, and the geese do geese things and there's peace and harmony sometimes people come down here and feed them i don't think that's a great idea but there are strokes for different folks all right let's go down here and see the ducks and then we'll end the video it's a good place to walk. Notice how busy it is. I mean, I'll do a 360 here and you'll see how crowded it is. It's about, uh, oh gosh, 8.30 a.m. And uh, you'd think there'd be somebody walking here. There's an RV park right up on that hill. Too cold, you think? No, that's 40 now, I'm guessing. Temperature's going up quick. Isn't this pretty though? I mean, if you got to go out for a morning walk, uh, I give this a 10. You just have to be careful of the goose poop. Right there. Uh, it's all over. You know, they take a step and drop a load, take a strip, you know. Let's go see. We got some, they got some colorful ducks. You know, the geese are right in there amongst them today. Must be a good place to eat. That must be the local diner. Yeah, so see the ducks to the right there, nearest the water. It looks like there's about three or four flavors of ducks. 
The ones with the green heads are the kind of the, there they go. <laughs> that is so cute. All the little ducks in a row. When you get your ducks in a row, that's what it means. Watch as they come out. It's called getting your ducks in a row. And there they go, paddling off into the sunset. And the geese are thinking, huh, why'd they leave? Uh-oh. Now he spotted why they left. <laughs> Is that neat? Show off. Don't I wish I could do that? Yes. I do. Uh-oh, here we go. You guys aren't going to join them, huh? When they fly along the river, they fly about two or three feet above the water. Sometimes their wings even touch the water. But they zip along here pretty nicely. So, and there's one, there's Jonathan Livingston Seagull right on the end there. Can you see that one bird at the end of that pier? That white bird? That's a seagull. And if you've ever... If you want to read an interesting book, it makes a good point. Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Good book. And there he is right there in all his radiating glory. Let's see if we can't get a better shot of him. Yep, that's Jonathan Livingston Seagull right there, that little white speck. But anyway, guys, from Lano, Texas, Lano River, on February the 19th, 2024, on a cool morning. So anyway, enjoy your day, enjoy your life. Yeah, it's rough, isn't it? This is one of the things I love about my RV way of life is I'm here in Lano now, I'll be here for another few days and then I'll go back to my home base in Fort Clark Springs for a few days and then I'll go somewhere else for a while. You see what I mean? But it works for me, it may not work for you at all. I'm not encouraging you, nor am I discouraging you. Just making the point. Thumbs up, car pay diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny and it helps support the channel. And uh, yeah, if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, why not? Anyway, stand guard at the door of your mind and enjoy your life the best way you can. Bye.